at the time of Jesus, every knee should bend of those in heaven and on the earth and under the earth. For the Lord became obedient to death, death on the cross. Therefore, Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. You came to call <coughs> sinners. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who will that your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of the resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue, that I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting, the Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. Thank you. Our responsorial song, Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake I shall bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons, because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, Lord in your great love, love and answer me. Insult has broken my heart, and I am weak. I looked for sympathy, but there was none. For consolers, not one could I find. Rather, they put gall in my food, and in my thirst, they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, Lord in your great, great love, love answer, answer me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See you lowly ones and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor and his own who are in bonds. He spares, he spurns not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our errors. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, what are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him 30 pieces of silver. And from that time on, he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? 
He said, go into the city to a certain man and tell him, the teacher says, my appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve, and while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes, as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Jesus Christ. Christ. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. The first reading, the book of the prophet Isaiah. This beautiful passage is one of the suffering servant passages that we have heard so much about. One thing that I would like to ref reflect upon today, and I'll do it backwards in the reading. In Isaiah this morning, the prophet records that God is the helper, the defender. Then the prophet begins by saying, the Lord has given me a well-trained tongue that I may speak a word to the weary which would rouse them. For you, for I, a great lesson could be learned here. God defends us before we need to open our mouth. And that is true. So often we hear things about others, whether it be the radio, or the television, the computer, which can belittle our brothers and sisters. And the temptation when we are on the receiving end of that belittlement is to want to defend ourselves but if we turn to this passage, we realize it is God who defends us. We don't need to defend ourselves. God does. Why and how? Well, why? Because he loves us and how? Because if we live the Christian life, people will realize by our actions that we are men and women of what we say and the things that are said about us are not accurate and the way that we can solidify others thoughts of us is speaking words that would rouse them using our well-trained tongue a well-trained tongue is a great thing our tongue so often is a part of our body that gets us in the most trouble which uh, we have a saying back in Louisiana, someone's all alligator mouth overloaded their jay bird backside. But we never stop and realize how we speak to others and about others. We need to control that form of speech. We need to Speak words that will rouse others, encouraging them. We need not tear down. The world does that for us. We need to encourage to build up. 
I'll conclude a very beautiful thought that I hold dear to my heart, which came from the writings of Dom Hubert Van Zeller, Van Zeller. And he wrote a beautiful little book, Suffering from a Catholic Perspective, and he addressed this issue. And he asked the reader, do you want to be like Christ? And as I was reading, I said, sure, yes, very much so. I want to be just like Jesus. And his book said, well, if your answer is yes, and I'm paraphrasing all this, think about the station of the cross that we so often pray. Jesus is stripped of his garments. And Van Zeller asked the reader, if you want to be like Christ, are you also willing to be stripped of everything? Even your good name and reputation through slanderous talk. Are you willing to be stripped of that? Are you willing to, as Isaiah said, let God defend you, not to try to defend yourself. Are you willing to let your actions be that which defends you? When I read that passage, I realized how erroneous my thought pattern had been prior, how I had failed miserably by trying to defend myself. When I started to speak words that would rouse others and not worry about that, let that go, honestly, it took about a year, but things <clears throat> changed. The complaints died down. The gossip ended. But it had to start with me allowing God to be my defense and doing what was right and loving the people who may say bad things. I learned this the hard way. So I tell it to you now so that you may not go down the same path I did. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. For the whole Christian people, that in this sacred time, they may be more abundantly nourished by every word that comes from the mouth of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the whole world, that in lasting tranquility and peace, our days may truly become the acceptable time of grace and salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, for sinners and the neglectful that in this time of reconciliation they may return to Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves, that God may at last stir up in our hearts aversion for our sins, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Lily Seals, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with the prayer in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand. For the praise and glory of his name, Father, and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made here, and graciously grant that celebrating your Son's passion and mystery, we may experience the effects of it, the grace of its effects through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Sabaoth. Plaini sum celi et terra, gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus cui veni in nomine domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save to us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take the great sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. No, I am not worthy that you should enter under my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for me. Let us pray. Endow us, Almighty God, with the firm conviction that through your Son's death and time, to which the reverend mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Lord Michael, Lord the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God give you him we humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan, and all the other evil spirits, who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen.
divine praises. Blessed, Blessed be God. God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of the soul. Blessed be the great mother of God and her dear most holy. Blessed be her holy immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, most holy spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and his saints. 